LA COUNTY SHERIFF'S DEPARTMENT IS NOW UNDER INVESTIGATION BY THE STATE JUSTICE DEPARTMENT. IT IS A CIVIL RIGHTS PROBE. CBS 2'S JASMINE Beal SHOWS US THE STATE WILL LOOK AT WHETHER THE DEPARTMENT HAS BROKEN ANY LAWS OR VIOLATED PEOPLE'S RIGHTS. CALIFORNIA ATTORNEY GENERAL JAVIER BECERRA MADE IT CLEAR THAT THIS IS NOT A CRIMINAL INVESTIGATION AND NO DETERMINATIONS HAVE BEEN MADE ABOUT SPECIFIC COMPLAINTS OR ALLEGATIONS LIKE THOSE SURROUNDING EXCESSIVE FORCE or retaliation. My office is undertaking a civil rights investigation into the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Today, California Attorney General Javier Becerra announced his office is launching that investigation to determine if there's been a pattern of unconstitutional policing. We're doing that to determine if LASD has violated the law or the rights of the people. Becerra says they are collecting whatever information they can with no particular scope on time or place or person. He is calling on the department to be transparent. I believe we all share the same goal. And by we, I mean those of us in law enforcement, whether you're the sheriff or whether you're rank and file officers. Sheriff Alex Villanueva said in a statement, during my administration, we have routinely requested the state office of the attorney general to monitor our investigations, and we will provide immediate access to all information in our possession. So I'm asking uh, Sheriff Villanueva to please resign. The Sheriff Civilian Oversight Commission called for Villanueva's resignation last fall, saying, among other things, that he's resisted oversight of the department and failed to hold deputies accountable. L.A. County's Inspector General says that the DOJ is looking into a lot of the issues his office has already filed reports on. There's a long history. I think anybody who wants to Google the details can see it of us trying to get the sheriff's department to comply with oversight laws uh, and share information with us. Becerra says the investigation comes on the heels of allegations of excessive force and retaliation. It's long overdue, to be honest, and uh, we welcome it. Cliff Smith, who helps run a community coalition to oversee the police and sheriff's department, says many of the issues within the department precede the current sheriff but have continued. Attorney General Becerra has resisted uh, prior uh, requests to uh, get involved into the investigations into the sheriff's murders of Andres Guardado, of Dijon Kizzi, uh, and others. And so, you know, we're happy that on his way out the door, he's, he's laying the table for the uh, incoming attorney general, uh, whoever that may be. But Sarah says this is a huge undertaking with the size of this department. He says anyone with information on this investigation is urged to contact the DOJ's Civil Rights Enforcement Section. I'm Jasmine Veal, CBS 2 News.